Hello, you will agree with me when I say that the game of life is ultimately being played by the mind. Whatever happens between your two years is what starts becoming your reality. That reality manifests in the external world in terms of what you experience in your physical life and at the same time what you experience internally that is nothing else but what happens between your two years. That is why it's very important to become aware what happens here? It's very important to start finding out what is it that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to build the strength of your mental muscles. And what I'm sharing with you today is nothing else but called daily mind power routine. If you start practicing some of these things that I'm suggesting, you can pick up certain ideas from here and notice how it brings a shift in your day-to-day -day life. So let us dive into the subject. The first point is build your energy first. Needless to say that whatever you do at any given point of time is nothing else but a reflection of your energy at that point of time. Which means to do any task with higher energy, positive energy at any given point of time, you first need to create it. And how do you create it? You can make a choice. In terms of mental energy, some of the options that you may have you may take a walk in the woods, walk close to the nature, you can listen to music, you can do meditation or you can just do breathing exercises which infuse a lot of energy not only in your body but in your mind also. Breathing relaxes your mind instantly and that is what you can start practicing. And another dimension that I'm bringing is you also need to work on strengthening your physical energy because it affects the state of your mind also at that point of the day. Imagine a situation that at some time in the day, let us say late afternoon, you start feeling tired and drained of energy. How will your mind behave at that time? Obviously, you may not be able to focus, you may not be able to concentrate, you may not be able to take decisions. That is why you need to have high energy flowing in your body throughout the day. And for that, you may have to do physical exercise so that positive energy continues to flow in your body throughout the day. Second important point is focus on a key intention. If you focus on what is the most important thing that you want to accomplish in a day, that will help you to start focusing on your work much more. I call it wins of the day. You may think of one, you may think of more than one. That's perfectly fine. But if your focus is on one thing, you will be able to direct all your action, all your energy on that thing. And obviously, the probability of achieving it keeps on going up substantially. In the Action Takers Club that we have created and where we meet in the morning, one of the activities that comes up is what are going to be your wins of the day? And I've started getting feedback from participants that this has started increasing the focus throughout the day. People are able to perform their action with a lot more focus than they were able to do before. That is why if you are able to decide right in the morning what is going to be your key intention, key wins, that is what is going to help you to do the work with much more focus and much more concentration. Next important point is combine your key intention with hot energy. What is hot energy? Let me give you an example. You must have experienced those times in your life when you were bubbling with energy, when you were in a mood of celebration. Let's do something great. That is what is called hot energy. It may have been because of a recognition that you received. You may have been striving for it. It may have been a huge problem that you solved or you may have accomplished something which you are really proud of. That is when you must have experienced hot energy. What I'm saying now is, infuse that energy into your current intention. And when you live your day with that kind of energy, in all probability, you will be able to accomplish what you set out to. And that is what is going to take you towards whatever you want to achieve. And the last thought that I'm sharing is, let it simmer in your subconscious mind. You must have read it, you must have understood by now, that our subconscious mind is far more powerful than our conscious mind. Which means we need to strengthen the muscles of our subconscious mind. 
and that happens only with repetition. And first three steps that we have done are nothing else but to repeat. Now leave it in your subconscious mind, let it stay there. And the longer it stays there, the higher the probability of achieving whatever you want to achieve. You must have heard of this term called RAS, Reticular Activation System. This is what is a part of our brain which helps us to create, which helps us to create our reality, which helps us to experience our life the way it is. It is not a coincidence that your life is being lived in a certain way. It's all being created by your subconscious mind. That is why let it remain in your subconscious mind through repetition, keep on strengthening that. The more it stays there, the more you will be able to work towards that, the more you will be able to invite in your life those situations and circumstances which will help you to move towards your goals. So, this is what is called daily mind power routine. Start practicing it today and let me know after 21 days of this practice as to whether you are experiencing positive shifts in your body, in your mind and in your reality or not. I look forward to your responses. Wish you all the best. Stay safe, stay healthy.